there's not much improv on uh, Aaron Sorkin's dialogue. What he writes, the actors will say. When you ask what makes us the greatest country in the world, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yosemite? A lot of those actors were stage actors. I mean, they're good, you know, Jeff's obviously been through everything, but uh, for them to have to remember all that technical stuff, it was funny, especially with even with Jeff, you'd be talking to him in the morning, he'd be really spry, and now, hey, good morning, you know, and then at the end of the day, he'd be just so drained mentally because he had to remember all this yeah. stuff, you know, and sometimes you'd come in and go, oh, it's going to be a good day today, I only have two lines, you know, <laughs> as opposed to six pages, Yeah. but no, amazing amazing the way he worked and all those actors the way they just you know they played it live like that remembering all that dialogue that that they had to remember you know verbatim pretty much yeah we're going to do a good news show and make it popular at the same time what could possibly go wrong good evening i'm will mcavoy can you move your blackberry off the desk i keep saying i could have ended my career just shooting that show forever it was just the Actors were phenomenal. Production was phenomenal. Sorkin's writing, phenomenal. That was another show that I came on after they did the pilot. And interestingly enough, the pilot they shot on 16 millimeter film. So it had that kind of 16 graininess and all that. So then when I came aboard, we, we knew we couldn't make, we knew we couldn't shoot it in film. There was just the way that there was just too much dialogue in the way it, you know, went. So we had to kind of transition from that 16 look into, you know, the video look. So um, aesthetically, I just, I had uh, my colorist over at, uh, uh, well, he's now at Technicolor, Pankaj, who literally took a uh, 16 millimeter film emulsion. I think he actually photographed, you know, uh, black with that. So you get that same grain structure. So we used that as a bit of an overlay and it was just worked out really nice. I'm a registered Republican. I only seen liberal because I believe that hurricanes are caused by high barometric pressure and not gay marriage. The style of that show, and I think one of the reasons I got hired is because I had done Friday Night Lights, which was very freeform style. And I think Alan Poole and, and all the producers realized the way we're going to shoot this show is we want to shoot it like a stage show. You know, because there are five, six pages of dialogue, and you can't break that up every time and cover it. Yeah. So they came to me and I said, "Well, it's you know, here's a good, here's a way to do it. Is we get you know two, three cameras, we just give them their space. We go long lens, let them play through our sets, which were enormous, and and enable us to do that. And then you know, we then go in tighter, get all that coverage. And if we really need to go tighter for other stuff, we will, but we don't stop and break it up and that's basically what we did with, with the newsroom. Yeah. And what was interesting about the newsroom, mentioning what you said about trying to make it real, we, you know, we had news broadcast. So technically that was a tough show because we would have to shoot our cameras on the outside while uh, Will was doing his newscast. We intercut all that. So we didn't stop a lot to shoot that. We shot it all one big bulk. Like I might have two cameras out here covering uh, the people watching, people, him doing his thing. And then we had real camera guys, news guys with real cameras shooting the news thing. So the news broadcast, we obviously had to make it look like a news broadcast. And the, that lighting was a little more up and more uh, newsy looking, you know, a lot brighter and all that. But I found a nice balance where it would work with our cameras as well as the news cameras. So it still looked more, you know, uh, theatrical, if you will, or, or more pleasing. And that was a fun show because just the communication when you had to cover, you know, we had all kinds of video monitors, video people, uh, news, real news people doing stuff on the headphones. And then, you know, Will had to hear what was going on for when they did remotes. I mean, it was really complex, but we, we got it down and it was phenomenal. You're spinning out of control. You're terrified you're going to lose your audience. You're one pitch meeting away from doing the news in 3D. You're enabling an ass. You ever notice men only ever do stupid things for one reason? cut from out to the newsroom, cut to into the, um, the broadcast booth, and then go really onto the stage where the broadcast was going. So if you look at some of those scenes, you know, finally kind of got it down where the lighting looks appropriate in every location there. You know, the newsroom looked like the newsroom. Uh, when he did the broadcast and you saw people behind him, I'd always bring those lights down a little bit, as opposed to when they're working, obviously, you know, office lighting would be a little bit brighter. So, uh, and then you'd cut into the control room, which was really dark, you know, and the feeling of the control room where that, that just the, the monitors were lighting the people in there. 
you know, and the little buttons and all their little lights. So it wasn't really overly lit. It was very down and it looked very uh, appropriate for that. And then, you'd, you know, you'd cut into on stage on the studio and then, you know, there'd be a big, almost flat light on it because that's how they like that stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, just getting that balance, I think, was, was kind of the, the toughest part. Yeah. Uh, you know, and sometimes we'd have a steady cam shot would go, you know, from the, from the uh, office into the control room and then all the way into the broadcast uh, broadcast stage. So you had, you had to ride it a little bit there, but uh, that was always, that was the fun about it. Yeah. That was the great thing about that show. The challenges were just, were, were fun. I was fighting the good fight. How's it going so far? Progress is slow, but I'm in it for the long haul. <laughs>